All right, welcome back. I figured that we would go from mildly infuriating to a-hole design. They're like two peas in a pod. They fit together and I might as well just make your blood pressure rise before, I don't know, next up we'll do oddly satisfying and I'll, it'll be a nice smooth ease back down to normality. We'll start off with number 19, Ikea. This elevator can go up but not down, forcing you to walk through the entire Ikea maze. There's even a button that does nothing. I think that's like a standard Ikea thing though, isn't it? Cause you always have to go and get guided through the whole thing. Inconvenient if you miss something and you wanna run back and grab it and just make a quick run to checkout, but it's a strategy for the most part to get you to look through everything. Hey, their prices are pretty darn good, so you can't complain too much, right? Facebook is desperately trying to get me to look at the marketplace. Are you trying to like cancel out? that notification sorry you you can't do that until um until you go and buy something i don't know what the marketplace is on facebook fortunately it feels like a bit of a relief that all the things that i hear about facebook i'm like yeah I'm, i don't i don't use facebook i've never used it for personal stuff so they can take all my personal information it's all, everything i have on facebook it's out there on the internet so they don't have anything special on me the only reason i still have it is because i have like account links that I need in order to keep other accounts on other websites operating. So that's the only bummer. I can't just get rid of it, but at least I don't have to deal with this. That's the solution. Just, just don't use it. And then you'll be good. You'll feel free. Trying to hide their factory from ruining their claim at being homemade. Homemade. Fa factory. Home factory made. It's a factory that's in our backyard. We just, it's a really big piece of land. Uh, and it, originally there was a home on it. We kept the home, but we built a gigantic factory right behind it. It's home factory made at our home factory. It's, it's accurate, you know, just like any other factory, but it was a home and still sort of is. To win a Switch and a copy of Diablo 3, you have to own a Switch and a copy of Diablo 3. Really? Where are you playing Diablo Switch? Upload your photo. Input your info. That's it. Hmm. I mean, I'll say that the phrasing is a little bit ambiguous. Like, I don't know exactly. Are they using that as judgment criteria? You have to include a photo of you playing Diablo Switch somewhere exotic in order to win a Diablo and a Nintendo Switch. But you get a backpack. And you can just at least sell this and then you'll get to keep the one that you were originally playing on or you just have to find a friend that'll let you borrow theirs. You can enter the contest that way. Oh boy, they just can't catch a break with this whole Diablo thing, can they? First it's the whole mobile blowback. Now it's make sure that you've got one already in order to win one. But I'm actually, would this be consistent? So there's a no purchase necessary requirement in the United States in order to hold uh, any sort of raffle or, or lottery. You have to be able to enter for free. I wonder if that means like, hey, you just have to borrow someone's or if there's an alternative method of entry. That's why it always says no purchase necessary on sweepstakes and stuff, because you can generally mail a postcard into a specific address that's listed in the fine print if you don't want to have to buy whatever it is that they're trying to get you to buy. If you didn't know that, it's legal requirements. So you can look through the fine print and enter that way if you want. This magazine ad makes it look like my wife wrote it. She didn't. Oh, that's real sneaky right there. Oh, oh, wow. Cause like who makes notes in magazines anymore, right? That, that must've been really weird. You're like, I don't know. Did, did she really, she draw in magazines? And like, she leave it out thinking I was gonna see it. I don't, she hasn't hinted at jewelry. This is out of character, honey. Did did you do this? No, I have no idea what you're talking about at all. Oh, it's oh on further inspection, those are printed pixels on the page. Huh. Wow. I wonder if anyone actually went and they bought the thing and they're like, honey, I saw that you marked that you loved it in the magazine. Here it is. And and she's like, uh, what are you talking? I. No, I swear you marked it in the magazine. No, I didn't do that. I really, oh, okay. Are you sleepwalking? Reddit's now letting vitamins advertise on the site, even letting them get gold to make it look legit. This kind of short needs to stop. Helps my stomach immensely. Totally worth it. Used to have indigestion and now don't. 
Amazon customer, Michael Scott. Vitamin Bounty Pro 50 Probiotics help with bloating, gas, indigestion, etc., etc. Sorry, I don't need to read out the whole advertisement. But because posts on, on Reddit or advertisements are posts, right? I don't know if they go into a category. I think they just list whenever it's applicable. I guess you can give yourself gold, right? The advertisement company could buy itself gold on another account and then it would look more legit. I don't know, it's it's marked as promoted. So, eh, I don't know. I can't really input on Reddit business decisions like that, but it's whatevs. My Xiaomi TV, probably pronounced that super wrong, forced me to watch a 60 second ad between switching from me. HDMI one to three? What? Are, are, are there? I mean, that's it's not a bad ad to look at, but yeah, you know, otherwise. <laughs> really, are there baked in ads be- on, on devices that you purchased outright with money? Like I can understand maybe, okay, you know, we're gonna try this new thing where we give you a free TV, but we're gonna present you with advertisements whenever you change a function that you're doing and also every 30 minutes we're gonna send you an ad. Oh, sorry, are you in the middle of a boss fight on your video game? Here's an ad! Yeah, you're gonna die now, but that's, you know, you got the free TV, so you gotta make up for it somehow. Nothing is actually free in life, okay? This app tricks you into asking for the fingerprint, but at that moment the pang pop-up shows. Oh, another one of these, huh? Is this the same one as Mildly Infuriating? Oh, this isn't a GIF in this situation, but we had one on Mildly Infuriating that had the exact same tactic. Oh, we're gonna measure your heart rate or something like that. Make sure you hold your finger as you pay for the thing. It'd be really hard to like actually get that up, pull that over on someone. Cause they'd have to just be like, oh, it's measuring my heart rate. I'll look away and do other things. Meanwhile, it's it's making the purchase. And also you have to make sure that the person has one of the iPhones that has the th- fingerprint scanner because it's moving to face ID. So it's it's gonna be an outdated tactic, as I said. The amount of ink in this pen. Huh. Yeah, that's that's a whole lot of wasted space right there. How big is how big is that thing? It's a gigantic pen. It's very inconvenient. It also like with it's it's weirdly shaped and it's supposed to be like a really long finger. I mean, I've got short stubby fingers, but that's long. Even longer than a pianist finger, okay? I don't know about that. Just wasted space. I hope it glows in the dark at least. I love retail during the holidays. Save an extra 20% off store-wide. Some exclusions apply. Like, basically everything except a couple of items. Are you legally allowed to obscure something like that? I bet you could file a complaint with like the Better Business Bureau that you're not actually allowed to false advertising because you are obscuring it from view. You're not supposed to have to move a store's sign. So I don't know, but hopefully look, I mean, hopefully it's just they're reserving that. So God forbid they sell something that's $10,000. They're not going to lose $2,000. on. I don't know what kind of store this is, but maybe it's most of the things barring just a couple of items. I want to give people the benefit of the doubt, but I don't know. You now have to watch ads to pump gas. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, hmm. Are you actually watching the ad before you're allowed to pump gas? I'm pressing X to doubt here, okay? I've been to gas stations where they are playing advertisements on a screen and that's just kind of going on loop while you're pumping gas. But eh, I don't think anywhere is going to actually force you to wait to watch an ad before your gas can be com- pumped because no. No, if that's the situation, gas is already expensive enough as is, okay? You're not going to make me watch it. Ad- if I'm getting free gas, sure, I'll watch that advertisement. That's that's pretty valuable. That's like 30 seconds for depending upon the size of the tank, but 60 bucks up to or so. I'll take that. You'd have to be like Bill Gates to outdo that wage. This just looks like advertisements that are playing, but oh, but what if there's no way they're obscuring the screen so that you can't actually make selections? I want, I want to not believe it, but may, I just don't want to. Zero dollars it is. Choose your donation amount. Other, five (laughs) dollars. 
you may not donate anything less than $25. This is that uh, choosing beggars. Hi, uh, with my cardboard sign, don't give me anything under $20, all right? I only eat at fine dining restaurants and I don't accept anything under a $20 bill. All right, thank you guys. Peace out, see you later. This waffle's serving size. Serving size, three mini waffles. <laughs> That's nice. Here's what I'm gonna justify this with, right? So if three mini waffles equals 70 calories, it means that four mini waffles equals, it's 93.333333 calories. Now, I don't know the policy on calories. Maybe you're allowed to just round to the nearest uh, zero or five, in which case this isn't applicable. But otherwise, if it does have to be on the money, I can see why they went with 70 rather than 93.3333. So that makes sense, at least. Also, I'm kind of embarrassed that I used a calculator for that. That was definitely mental math. These abusive stickers that were included in this dog sticker pack. A dog, wait, this is a dog sticker pack? Cause I don't see much in the way of dog stuff going on here. It's pretty much just, oh, that's real. Yeah. I don't, oh, that's, un... oh, that doesn't seem very nice to do. Maybe there are reasons to have some of these, but also why are they in a dog sticker pack? <laughs> That's a thing. Product on Amazon trying to imitate Amazon's choice banner. Amazing choice. I, it's probably very quickly against the terms of service to, <laughs> to do that. So they, to exactly copy it. So they changed it just enough to where it didn't get flagged. Well, I mean, I can see why you do it. It's probably a pretty effective technique because I'll be honest, that Amazon's choice thing over the top of a product, that like, it's, it's a very convincing way, especially when it comes to something like a cable. If I just want to order an HDMI cable and it's like Amazon's choice, usually be Amazon basics. So it's just their thing, but sometimes it's not. And I'll be like, all right, I guess that's the one to get. So I'm sure that everyone's goal in life who sells products on Amazon is to get that over there. So I, I, I can see why they do it. This should be illegal. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on this one. So obnoxious happens with S Sirius XM. You guys do this crap. Not in this, not verbatim here, but you guys do this crap. Also, my ISP, which I'm already with, they do it too. I'm like, I already pay you guys, okay? You don't have to send me, a th and they're all in Spanish. Misleading box art makes it seem like you get a pair. Literally just came with one wireless earphone. Really? Wireless music, who gave one? What? Uh, who, sell, who sells one earphone? Who, <laughs> what? Who does that? That doesn't make any sense. If you're gonna do the exact, literal exact same thing as Apple's thing, at least make it a competition and not just rip people off. What? One earphone? Who sells one earphone? And it also, those are, they're, are they, a, I'm pretty sure it actually shows a left and a right pictured on the box. That's, no, nah, that's, that's definitely not legal. You can't depict both left and right on the box. Even if it doesn't say plural earphones on there, you can't have that ambiguity. That's definitely not legal. And I hope that you're able to report that to something that if Amazon sold it to you, would. I can only imagine the product reviews on that. I'm giving the amount of stars as I got earphones in the box. One, never buy this. Why would you buy this? And do, I wonder if you got two separate ones, would they sync separately? Like they're not on the same Bluetooth pairing, so you wouldn't be able to have both of them working simultaneously. You're just screwed. Oh, that's that's bad. I have to pay them to take the mini bar out of my room. Note that our mini bar is fully computerized. Every item you take or move will immediate not not there's a grace period. Man, at least in Las Vegas, like you have a grace period, so if you take the item off the pressure plate, it'll give you like two sec uh, like 30 seconds. To just look at it, you can look at the ingredients, see exactly what it is, and then you can replace it. And if it's replaced within 30 seconds, like you're okay. No, this is like the second you nudge it. Sorry, you wanna read ingredients? Think again. If you would like your mini bar to be emptied, please call reception on extension nine and for 15 euros, we'll remove your mini bar. Ah, <laughs> uh, 
I don't know, do they put it in the middle of the room, like on the floor, so there's a risk of you kicking it over? Because, or maybe you have kids, I can understand if that's what you're trying to avoid, your kids like grabbing it. But assuming that it's just adults in the room, I don't know, I hope you, <laughs> this is coming from me, who if there's any food in the house that gets eaten, I have no self-control. But I usually do when it comes to mini bars and hotels, because it's such a rip-off that I'm like, I could walk out the door and get this for $2 and you're charging me 15 for it. Okay, I can resist it. But... Maybe you have kids. That's I get it. Okay, well, thanks, everyone, for, for watching. I hope you've not enjoyed. Make sure to like if you didn't enjoy. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to watch more A-Hole Design and get more frustrated, check the playlist in the description or just watch other videos on the channel. If you want to listen to the outro music, it's, it's over on Marin Music. Link in the description. I'll see you next time.